Hello everyone, Mario the Pie Man here with a special bonus episode. So, I thought I'd try to get this one out. I'm going to actually try and get this one out on the night it's recorded. Um, or at least within a day or so afterwards, uh, probably on the weekend it's recorded. Actually, that's maybe been a bit optimistic. Why am I doing this? Well, you see, they're doing a recruitment event and I've left it for at least a week and a bit. Um, one of the Delta recruitment events, and I thought it was worth. Again, you've kind of seen it already in my in, um, Drakara, but um, I thought it would be nice to go through the Federation tutorial, partly because they've completely redesigned it. Um, but I've actually not played the redesigned tutorial, so I thought if we could at least see a character go through the Federation tutorial. Now, you'll probably not see much of this lad, uh, he's a Ferengi called Bob. Uh, I like the idea that the Ferengi have these kind of monosyllabic names and that he is just coincidentally someone who's got one that uh, sounds like a human name. I thought that would be at least funny to me. Um, but yeah, the idea was, I thought, I'd go through this to show you, you know, just to a, let people know the Delta recruitment event is still on. I think it's on for another, at time of recording, 18 days, but obviously your best checking. Um, it's always worth if you're going to start the game, start the game and start a new character. The Delta recruitment events are a good way of doing it. You get a lot of uh, bonus stuff. You level up a bit faster, so it's a good way to get into the game quickly. Um, and yeah, I thought I wanted to take a look at this new tutorial anyway, and I thought why not share it with the viewers and you actually get to watch some content with me that I've not seen before. Well, I've probably seen bits of it. I assume it follows similar beats. I've been through at least two different Federation tutorials because they do like rewriting it quite a bit. But uh, yeah, um, to let you know what this is, this is Bob, he is a Ferengi, because you can actually create Ferengi Starfleet characters. Um, I decided to be quite quite bulky, you know, like, like he's a Ferengi that works out, the idea being, he's, you know, he has actually been an assistant manager according to that tattoo, but the idea is that he kind of went for, you know, he, he's, he's not like other Ferengi, because he's joined Starfleet, but he likes the Scant, because the Scant is an awesome uniform that they should never get rid of, so... Uh, this whole crew will be all scant all the time. Um, so yeah, you'll only really see, I think, Bob through this intro. Um, yeah, you never know, we bring him back for something else a bit later, but uh, you know, as a bonus character. But uh, I just thought you'd want to see this intro, and to be honest, so do I. So let's go and see what this new Federation tutorial is like. Get an accolade just for starting. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. Leonard Nimoy here. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Spark. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Yeah, bit of the old uniform is there before the update. This video is quite early. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Warning. Ship is under attack. 
The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. I think this is also a promotional video, but this has always been the, the intro video for Star Trek Online. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream time will work weird. itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Oh, mysterious. Except it's not because you've already seen this. Um, Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day. But from the Romulan side. We'll be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic you don't need to hear. of Star Trek. You got to go over. Now <laughs> this is quite funny. Um, they put you in the cadet jacket, and they usually just put it over the top of the uniform. So. To move, yeah. use a W. This is Starfleet Academy. I think you have seen this already, or if you've not, it does show up in a later video, but uh, we will probably see more of this. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Tuesday? How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Don't worry, I made lots of profit from it. <laughs> or something for India. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I've not received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the okay, pathway. Okay, I'll do that. You can see if you were right at starting, this is teaching you the basics on how to try to do everything. Hi. Rizki said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. Nah, I nothing. was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. I'm just my awesome score chap. increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Cool. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Okay, your shows you where your objectives are and That's enough of that. We all know this stuff, right? I'm not just skipping it. Hey, Morik. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. Oh, mate, you can come on the ship. Is, <laughs> Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Let's go and talk to Lieutenant Fair. Here's Eliza Flores. Haha, I've overtaken you. Good afternoon, Cadet. Hi. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Bob. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Oh, fine. Okay. The direction of your objectives also appears objects you can interact with. Bing bong. Come. Cadet. Hi. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. I'm not sure what your accent is, but thanks, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. 
I'm not a tactical officer. I could have concentrated on stuff for like being an engineer and stuff. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who's that? Is this Eliza Flores? Because that would be really surprising. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, yeah, I remember those Flores blemishes. will settle down and become ah. a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, we saw it there. Oh, she's playing with her iPad. I got the tactical officer spot. Well Just done. what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me to see your staff, but I've got to do advanced phaser training first. You never did that? No. I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Yeah, I didn't everyone do that. knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass well, that. Clearly not everyone aligns on now you tell. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. I'll lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Wow, that's coincidental. I do like it. I mean, it does feel like a living, breathing place. You've got cadets wandering, you've got shuttles flying about. It looks a bit different than the one that you play in game once you go there, the communal area one. Uh, it's got a few more things to interact with, which they took out uh, for this Have one. you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? George and Gracie. I've never seen no. them spot them. Never seen them. I sometimes forget that Boothpea is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Yes. To sprint, tap the shift key. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Ah, no, I will not buy a drink. Ah, where's the console? Who was there first? Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky holodeck. Have you any advice for me? I do kind of want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Alright, okay, Pretty thanks basic, for really. that. Yeah, brilliant. What kind of tactics? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. Are you going to make it easy for me? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. I'll need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. You got a pub here, you got this. Oh no, the 602. Yeah, 602 clubs there. Um, reference from Enterprise. And we've got to press buttons to open a locker. Yay. Then there's Hall Deck 2. Go to the center of the room. Move, cling on. In combat, right click on a target. Yes, I know. Oh, I favor everything. While in combat, certain actions are. Ah. Why am I wearing trousers? I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm from your future, and you come back in time to tell you information you're going to need in the future. I don't quite understand uh, everything myself, but I remember talking to me when I was standing in your nice boots, so I know I had to do this. Yeah, nice try, Flores. Scan me, I'm not a hologram, photonic life form, chronosome particle. Think of a number, it'll be identical to the one I thought of when I'm in your position. 42. It's been a while, but I'm fairly certain the answer was 42. I'm still quite fond of that book. And I was still sceptical. Whereas I was after receiving my first command, I spoke to major from Temporal Investigations. They confirmed the entire incident um, occurred. You can do so, or will. 
I'm going to do that, but what do you want to tell me? Let's get down to business. There's a war coming. An ancient race known as the Iconians once ruled huge areas of space, including this one. They had the power of gods, technology far beyond what anyone else had. It took all of the Iconians' enemies rising up against them was one to defeat them. We thought they were extinct. Now we know we were wrong. And they returned to take back everything that was once theirs. That's where you come in. Why me? What makes me special? Most of Starfleet's officers had no opportunity to gather intelligence in this race, their capabilities and their possible plans. But I did. Throughout your career, you, we will benefit from the knowledge I'll give today. When the war with the Iconians comes to the galaxy, you'll have a fighting chance thanks to what you've learned. That's why I've come back, so I'll know what to do. What do I need to know? I can't just give you everything at once. That could cause a paradox. You'll have to locate all this information yourself. Like a weird side quest or something. I'll help you. How? Take this. It's a test rack communications device. It allows me one-way communication from the future to you. There'll be updates through the device that you can progress through your career. Check it often. I've taken up as much time as I can. Flores and Taggart will be waiting for you. Thanks, I guess. You are now a Delta recruit. Yay. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. There you go. Press H to holster and draw your weapon. Well done, cadet. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thanks, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Oh, oh wait, me? First officer? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. What, like being an admiral in a year? I'll be an honor serving with you. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. I think you should start calling me sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, sir? Yes. Oh, very funny. I mean, for that. You'll do great. <gasps> But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okay. Remember, your objective Now let's go. Why was the shuttle bay? Where would I be? It's not like I'm being a... Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Oh, there we go. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest oh, of our careers. Brilliant. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Okay. So, so far, if you're curious, this has been pretty much like the um, tutorial has been, so it has been in the past. They might have rejigged some of the assets, but nothing major. Alright, let's be humble. Let's inspire. Yeah. May I have everyone's attention? Oh, let's go try and intimidate. The galaxy is dangerous, but each one of us should have the skills it takes to survive. Let's frighten them now. This won't be easy. The Federation has enemies. The Klingons, the Tal Shiar, the Borg. There are lots of people out there who want to destroy the United Federation of Planets. It's our job to stop them. Uh, let's switch to galvanize. But we will go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us, pushing everything used to anything learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Orion, to her crew. All cadets, please board yeah, your you don't get anything from that, it's not like Mass Effect, where that could change how things go. Oh, guess get to... Yeah, that's technically a runabout. It's a different thing. Are you ready to head to the ship? Yeah, let's go. You know what it's like? You can never find a runabout and then three can all at once. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The you USS see it coming out of space Vesta, stuff. First of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even and a can, quantum field focus controller. You can buy her in the sea store, just like so you know. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. 
We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Oh, Craig is here. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. See you there. I'm checking in too. Yes, I know I'm the only one not wearing trousers. Name and position? Cadet Bob, acting first officer. I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Where's the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there. Okay, thanks. And here we go. Hope they rejig this bridge a bit. That's nice. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. It's all do now. I always liked it. As my number They're one, I expect card. you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Okay. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Tavrell, get clearance from traffic control for the Rindley gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Right, Flores, close the doors. This is easy, it's just telling others. Shuttle bay to do doors stuff. are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Oh, oh no, I have to do a thing. Got to go all the way around here and push a button. Yeah, I quite like that redesigned bridge. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet are regulations specify thrusters only hold in the vicinity of space dock. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Oh, Potter, was. take us out. Maximum. Sit right now I'm close calling you. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Can't believe Good. none of your rear scans. Start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Mm, exciting music. Captain, could you Captain, not play exciting I'm music? I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Break Even. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails. Keep trying, Travel. Their long-range comms might be down. Uh, legs one, together, Bob. Let's discuss the situation. No, oh, An unexpected gone? situation, number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Is this a test? It's part of the cruise. Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Oh, it's a race against time if they're warped for us at risk. Indeed. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident or the results of an attack. What do you advise? The that level of analysis will take more time than we have, number okay. one. On well, that case, yellow alert will need shields up in case that core Agreed. Reaches. All hands, go to yellow alert. Flores, raise the shields. Number one, I want you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. I have to do everything. Still no response from the break-even, Captain. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our shields are collapsing. Flores, Ooh, return that's not fire. Good. Captain Delta Sierra 9. Look, there go the shields. Not good. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the Borg are here. We need help. <laughs> She's just so like, Sir, it's the Borg. That's inconvenient. Right, so I'll just go number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry for the emergency stop, number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. 
The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. I see, so what, what do you want me to do about it? Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. Arm an enemy ship, sir. We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Okay, yes, yeah, sir. Sir, over here! They've had a, definitely added some voicing in, and uh... Enter the command code! Yeah, I'm pretty sure this went differently. I'm sure it was Klingons you were dealing with in the last this iteration, right although the first iteration the did use the bar. Status report number one. About to leave the armory, sir. Very well. We're reading. We have to tell us, but there's our Delta recruit thingy. Wait for me, guys. Oh, we don't need those. I think we're done that. Oh. There we go. Just waiting for the bog to show up. So we've got the sniper rifle. Oh, notice they've not put on the uh, restore you know, the um, adapting mechanism just yet. I'm wondering if I'll explain it. Nope, it's right. right. Thanks. You saved me from a fate worse than death. I'll get back to manning the transporters. I need to get to main engineering now to repel more bark. That's going to be a problem. We took some hard hits in the initial salvo, and there are hole breaches in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. Can you beam me there? We still have main power, so yes. Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad, and I'll beam you there. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, they definitely rejig these corridors. Your timing is fortuitous, sir. We are making a push to retake main engineering. Okay. Yeah. Um. Press C to crouch. Cr I forget to do this so often. Yeah. Um, these sort of card designs show up in. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Later missions, uh, the newer ones in particular. They're not even doing anything, they're just wandering about. Guys, could you at least face the board? Right, oh yeah, running in right at the head. Okay, I've got an idea. Okay. I saw this in a Starfleet history sim, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. I need you to prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release. Well, that sounds like something that happened in Star Trek First Contact, and quite risky. Any riskier than standing around while the Borg send over more drones? I don't think so. 
Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No, thank you. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, that's cool. Here. Nice engineering deck design as well. Not good. Not good. We need to go now. Quick, release the plasma coolant. Charge it all. Ah, oh, that's new. <laughs> Ooh, grim. It's like scorpion. <laughs> it worked! Data, you mad android genius! It actually worked! I love you! Bet you're glad I was paying attention in history class that day. I'm concerned, but relieved. Thanks. That plasma coolant really did a number on the Borg. They won't be coming back here anytime soon. That's good. Yeah, That's right, okay. Very, very good. Bob to bridge with secured main engineering. Kind of, it's full of plasma, but... Number it's one, good. we've got injured up here and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Okay, fine. Go. See to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. Right, not that turbo lift. No, apparently. All the way around here. The bridge is secure for now. Help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. Okay. You have my gratitude. Yeah, no problem. That was your final. Did that. Oh, I owe you. Both of you. Thanks. Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phaser train. Oh, shut off. up. Assimilated. Oh well. Yeah, there's a lot more animations in this, so having quite a few changes. Captain, the Borg vessel has gone to warp and left the system. What? Why did they just leave? Based on the amount of damage they sustained, it is logical to assume they disengaged in order to regenerate safely. I'll track the ship. If we catch them, we could rescue Captain Target. Hello, I'd like to check in my mission. We... We survived. But the captain... He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. Okay, guess. Let's take my seat. No, not that one. Come on, this one. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I know it was nerve wracking and you didn't want to take Alyssa mine. Flores is now your bridge oh, officer. Alyssa. Oh, I can call her Eliza all these years. To your ship in space and all decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. Oh. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Tavrell, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying, Alyssa, what's the status of that Borg ship? I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva? Still running diagnostics, sir. Okay, took us sorry. Took time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hail them. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break even. This is Starfleet vessel USS Orion. What's your status? No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short range scan. Stay sharp. We don't know if we've got any Borg on board. Increase your speed. Yeah, I know. I take some beauty shots of the lovely Miranda Use class. W and S to move yeah. up or down. Help. Full lovely stop. model. 
I've stopped us this time, sir. Yes, I know. From now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. No, my helm's been broken, Alyssa. No life forms detected. The ship is broadcasting its distress signal via automation. I suggest that we remotely order the break even's computer to cease the distress yeah, signal. Yeah, good idea. We don't want to bring anyone else to work on the ship. I put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged oh. beyond repair. Do we have any spares? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. Any ideas? There was a battle here recently between Starfeet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the break-even. I think I see where you're going with this. Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. Okay, let's scan the debris field. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Oh, cool. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the space bar to find. Warning, ship is under attack. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the. There you go, one plasma injector to. And three. These this plasma is... injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... Stay focused, work fast, they're still bored. I'll get everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. Yes, I do. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we hit warp one. Tavell, calm still jammed? Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. What's causing it? There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. I just check something. That's what I was looking for. There. Okay, nice work, recommendations. Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. Their elimination should allow us to send a destruction. So destroy a slightly harder car command. target. Yeah, okay, let's do that. You must be within 10 kilometers. Use your phaser banks to weaken. Yeah. are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Yes, do it. Captain, the Borg ship sustained damage in our encounter and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. I'll do it. We need to find a rescue captain Understood. target. Fortunately, our sensors are sufficient to the Good task stuff. of following the trace plasma signature. Finally, we have an advantage. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. 
This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Activate full impulse, but... I'm trying to. Multiple Borg vessels on sensors. These points do not appear to be shielded. Looks like they will duplicate me. We should continue to follow the passing trail. I agree. Captain, the Borg have adapted. These vessels possess shields. Uh, this is, this Borg is supposed to click on for this invade somewhere. What happens in the standard tutorial? Uh, they have dressed everything up, but it's been. Let's see, story beats are pretty much identical, but uh, they have uh, fancied up everything of how it looks. And the voice acting is the same. It wasn't all those voice back in the original game. Uh, the tutorial didn't have any voice, but uh, you also have these set characters like Zarva, Lysa, uh, and uh, Tyrell. They came in in the sort of first big redesign. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. I'll put it on screen. This is Captain Nova. Yay! It's Anna Eisenberg. Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We're attacked by the Borg. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Borg ship. I think they've assimilated him. I see. And you're the acting captain. I suppose so. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. Another Borg spear is attacking. No. Kind of our you know, full fledged ship fight. So, in the original one, it was like some birds of prey with no shields. There's some birds of prey with shields, and then I think I tried to take on some fucking like, nature or something. Ram to up fairly solidly. Also, the change of it to Borg is definitely a bit of a change in pace. But uh, the later part, and again, I'm curious when we get to the ground part of this mission. Oh. Like oh yeah, they've added cake and all crew. Let's see what we can do about that. Because she's been doing some voice work for the latest missions. Um, so I think we decided to add her to the tutorial. She's one of the biggest first cast members we've had recently, so I don't blame them. Oh, we're going to finish the tile again. So, the rumors are true. The Borg have returned. We've got our work cut out for us. Cadet, where's your captain? Uh, he's captured by the Borg. We're currently in pursuit. Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer. And I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't have well, left well, without comforting. assimilating your entire crew. Because we have to rescue him then. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home, cadet. 
We're receiving an emergency transmission. I've lost the signal. I don't anymore. like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. The line quit us. Indeed it does. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. Consider this a field promotion. Okay. Captain. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system, best possible speed. Voyager and Chimera will rendezvous with you there. Okay. Gameway out. And that's why my Acroid Met Admiral Daily has been popping up in every character. Because they. Uh, I came up before they tweak the tutorial, but. Possibly she comes in later. They do We've like. arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kittimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders? Get closer. I want a detailed scan, it could be a trap. Yeah, they tweak old missions every so often, so they did things like added voice to them. Um, Aaron Eisenberg was subbed in when they did the Deep Space Nine upgrade. Okay, so you do every so often if you play the old stuff. Indicate several you'll get some good surprises. Are offline, Captain, including communications. I am reading numerous life signs on board. However, well, good. There's time to save both the ship and the crew. Something's not right here. Where are the Borg ships that attack the Kittimer? Good question, Captain. I want you to scan those nearby gas clouds while we assist the crew of the Kittimer. Make okay. sure they're not hiding any unwanted guests. Well, we'll scan each of them. Sensors are having difficulty getting clear resolution through the gaseous anomalies. We will need to move in to very close range to acquire useful information. Okay, everyone, hold on to your lunch. Here for the turbulence. You can set your ship's power. Scan point alpha. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Mm, that's weird. This is Janeway. We're detecting oh. some unusual gamma radiation levels. Yeah, yeah, we've been picking that up too. We're having trouble getting a clear scan. I don't like the look of it. We've got the same issues. Any recommendations? Try recalibrating your multispatial sensor array. That should provide a better reading. Let me know what you find out there. That level of radiation could hide a lot of things, including the board. Yeah, we'll give that a go then. The multispatial sensor array has been recalibrated, Captain. Thank you, Terrell. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! No! Stuff more going on here, Katie. Now I'll just put that plasma fire in the hole first, okay? Jeez, she's demanding. We're just right there. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. I feel like getting the board different races. I got one there with Cardassi. This is 
the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. Hi. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Yeah, mate. Give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected they're somehow. Fly, they're not they're quite... strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We've kind of got other stuff on at the moment. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Admiral Janeway, someone must have activated the EMH from the bridge. Hmm. If the bridge was attacked in the Borg attack, Captain Yim may have activated the EMH to alert us. I'm reading a few probes from the Kittimer in the system. Looks like they were conducting research here before the Borg attacked. I want you to collect data from those probes. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Okay, understood. We'll send teams to aid the Kittimer while you collect that data. One more thing. If you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. I know firsthand what fighting the Borg can do, even to seasoned officers. Good idea. Flores, how are we? We're scared. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use Wait, them the so soon. Do you power them enough? I know we need to be ready for the day when we're alone against the Collective. The counselors are already working with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Tell them I'll do everything I can to protect the ship and the crew from the Borg. Understood. I'll tell the crew what you said and set a course for the next anomaly. If the Borg show up again, we'll be ready. Very I've linked the Iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Maybe should have turned in the opposite direction. Apologies now to watch me slowly turning in a circle. Fast turning in a circle. So we're going to have to scan more things. I think the problem is that this, they are Good. trying to make it Head for probe number two. sort of like a mission, but you've done a little combat and now you're scanning stuff. I would have actually probably jumped to ground map here. One last probe, and we should be able to assemble all if of the data. I was rejigging this myself. Or maybe done one of the waveform uh, things. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. There we go. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Where's the Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Uh, maybe not then. The Kittimer will have any data they collected from the probe before the attack. Adding that to the mix will help our efforts considerably. Ah, uh, can you help us crunch these numbers? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. I might see what we can determine. Borg transwarp signatures detected. All hands, battle stations. Where are They're they? firing. I need help. Sending small probes. We stopped at Send Spear Steer here. Remember your training. We're start the officer. You stop. Tell us to hang in there now. Because this was not how I imagined my training crew was going. Ooh, sovereign crap class. 
multiple Borg warp signatures detected. Ooh, it's an problem. We are the Borg. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. No way we can part. They're leaving. Scan their trajectory. I want to know where they're going. Target shields have failed. Concentrate fire on that spear. I'm doing. What is annoying is there used to be more iron All right. Here's how I see it, out. Captain. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Based on our analysis, their most likely target is the Vega system. There's a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it, they'll have a large population to assimilate. How is the Kittimer doing? The Kittimer is in bad shape, and they took heavy casualties as well. We're still working on triage and restoring their critical systems. Which leads me to our next course of action. Yes. I want you to go to the Vega colony and well, if I was tactical, I'd know that. What about you? Voyager and Chimera are better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kittimer. We'll do what we can, but it'll be up to you to warn the Vega colonists. Can you stop the Borg? It's not just a matter of can, Captain. It's a matter of must. Okay. We'll buy you as much time as we can. You should have enough time to warn the colony. I've hailed Starfleet Command and requested backup. But you and I know we can't wait for them to arrive. Vega Colony can't wait. Understood. We'll set a course for Vega. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Yeah. So yeah, in the original one you fought Klingons, but then you did do the Borg invasion. Not Shields the original, up. original Red one. Alert. You had to deal with the Borg invasion. In some ways it's kind of gone back. Yes. Yeah, Certain kind of missions allow you to remotely hail your contact by clicking on the hail icon along the right side of the mission track. You need to warn the Vega colony about the impending attack. We'll do what we can here to hold off the Borg and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations, Lieutenant. While I'm here, I will equip stuff that's in my inventory. I've got a slightly better phaser rifle. And why is I can have... Well, let's just... Of the time when we're traveling. We're nearly there. Yeah, you asking in the back. So, yeah, we do a couple of missions. We're not just going to stop the mission here. We'll go through the whole intro sequence until it joins into where we. We arrived before we'll meet the Borg. It with Doug eventually. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Heal the colonies, we have to warn them. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. 
putting her through now. On screen. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? The Borg are coming. You start evacuating. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about the Borg are on their way, Mayor? You've got to evacuate. Oh. Calm, what just I happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our That's hails suspicious. to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. This is very much. Alright, as the uh, first missions were now, uh, I will take through it all because there's nothing else you want to see there. The Federation day. Yeah, I realized that. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your order, sir. Can we get transporter locks on the colonists? Uh, the Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Hurry, the Borg will be here any and Transport calls. conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Oh, Blame me. Alright. Yeah, so. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them! You might be wondering why I keep talking about how I'm just doing this because you'll see it in other places. I'm ahead of my recording where I'm not shown. And uh, basically, I made the decision when uh, Doug, the uh, TOS character, to, um, to go through the Federation parts before the missions eventually dovetail at a certain point. Um, slightly later for the Romulans, so. I'm basically taking Doug here in this through the Federation missions up to the point where um, it kind of joins in and then it'll be Trakara. Although, like I said, um, we're doing this. You, this might not be the last you see of Bomb in the same way as when the Federation mission catches up with where the Romulan ones go. Um, that won't be the last you see of Doug. The idea is that I will bring them back for some missions, um, just so that it's not always Rakara, and because it lets you see hopefully where these characters get to later in game. So, you, know, you might become invested in I don't know about uh, Bob, you know, Bob the Ferenki, just at uh, you know, this early point you've only had a few minutes with him, but uh, you might have become attached, I don't know. I don't know what you become attached to. Oh, oh, they're out there quick, though. Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. We make our stand here and look for any more Borg landing parties. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Okay, well, do it. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Yay! Target shields have failed. Get this last planetary simulation for. Sadly, we're getting close enough here to get a look at it. We only turn on really in this mission as well. They have a unique ship there. You'll see tons of these things though. Level one Borg ship. Captain. 
Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Or we could sit up here and beam them up from space. No? Okay, let's go then. Choose your away team for your next mission. Yeah, I already kind of done that. None of you wearing your scamps yet. We will fix that. Whenever you see him next, I assure you it will be a full scant crew. Not having any of this. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated well, by the around. Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is oh, affecting so we've been the ship's here transports. To get home. Brilliant. Manually tag everyone and we'll find the transport. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Good, That's one of go. those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too oh. late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. That's neat. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Okay. Please save us! The Borg are everywhere! Okay, okay. Thank you. I don't want to be a civilian. Apparently, I card, card, that's what we're going to be doing. Finally, we want to be a So, we'd say my phaser rifle's changed, but of course, it will have. Leave that. the gate closed! We have to get out of here! And leave Starfleet's here. Oh, thank God. Please, you have to help us. Okay. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. I like how this Cardassian is Spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next okay. to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. I'll give it a go. Good thing you had this armor kicking about. Press the U key. Yeah, I know. Open the gate. Let's see what's going on in this colony. Interesting that they took all the Klingon stuff out of it. It's now just all Borg oh again. No, we're too late. Got the split bean rifle there. I don't think we are. Oh no, we are. She looks fine as well. I wonder if that was deliberate. Quite a nice wee reveal. Or is everyone going to get up as Borg? I do like this ground kind of turning I, Borg. -y. I can hear their voices in my head. Okay. Ah, the rest one there, someone who got. This bit of music I've cropped up, it pops up quite often in Borg missions, I do quite like it. Don't run towards the Borg, you idiots. It's over. It's finally over. Now the Borg do get a lot harder. You've seen them in any other videos. They have been turned down. I actually thought that's why they went with most of the Klingons for the when they updated right. this first time round. Because having the Borg kind of doesn't make the Borg out the scariest when you beat them as your uh, a cadet. Stay back, sir. I apologize for Kolez putting a rifle in your. Nope. Okay, that's my only. I apologize for Kolez putting a rifle in your face. You if it wasn't saying? for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? We're the only ones here. The Rhine's in orbit. I see. Then it's true. Vega is yep. doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes, 
We cannot abandon them to the Bulwark. We can rescue them, but something's blocking the transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. Well, I can just set it off. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Okay, uh, Vega is, was a trade company. Sorry, I thought you'd finish this your text. This was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. Right, we can set up the pattern. But first, I'd like to you, offer you, you some equipment. You said that. Vega is, was I'll put a it to good company. use, yeah. What's in here? More weapon upgrades, I imagine. Oh no, a uh, kit module. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Open your inventory. It's quite a handy one, actually. I do like the mind field. You now have additional abilities in ground combat. Okay. Are working. I'm not a moment too soon. I can hear the board moving this way. I need you to signal them to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the board? As long as need to. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Well, long civilians coming in. Well, we'll be there soon. Mayor, thanks for the help. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. And I'll finish it. Colas, you're with me. Speak up, it's noisy. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting them or take it without a fight. Okay, I'll All right, Colas, you're going to see friends who've been assimilated. Don't. Colas, come kill your friends. I knew that one. We played poker last night. Did you win? That's probably not good. Look over there! That drone, it's Captain Tagger! Oh, that's not good. The board is activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. The board is so, what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with E. Well, they're not. They're just doing their thing.
disable the force field. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. You're sounding a bit more evil there, Captain. Captain Tiger sick bait. Initiating emergency medical transport. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as okay, possible. Okay, let's go then. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this yeah, ship. Yeah, I know. Communications are still jammed. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send an automated warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Well, that's the best plan we have, so let's go for it. Oh, different color blurry things. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around. Oh, I do like that thing. Lower shields. Well, it's really annoying because the bark sphere is using the old type. Yeah, this bit's very much. I think they've redone the voice and I couldn't tell you for sure. It's been a while since I've played the Fed tutorial. I think they've actually tweaked the voicing a bit. Made the script. They've definitely redone a lot of the animations, although, like I say, this bit's pretty insane. At the moment, it's really. Aside from some graphical enhancements and, of course, changing it from Klingon to Borg. The main thing they've done is taken out some Aaron Eisenberg and added in some um, Kate Mulgrew, which I do understand that in the big names thing, but, you know. I liked having some Iron Eisenberg in there. Uh, it was nice having Captain Nog. And in fact, the SS break even used to be manned by Quark. Uh, although it does make more sense as things go on that he's not there. But yeah, this was interesting that they kind of undid the Deep Space Nine editions. But it is the way that when they get the actors, they will frequently sub in um, a voice actor. You know, they'll swap in. Sometimes I actually screw up. You Never thought both. I wish I was back at the academy studying for the astrometrics final. I prefer this to an astrometrics final. Trust me. I hate exams for the fun. Doing what we're doing. Let's get further out of here and get the last satellite done. Uh oh. Not good. 
Let's go down swinging. A cube? <laughs> Guess it's our time to go out in the blaze of glory. Rather not. All hands, this is Admiral Janeway. Ooh. Target that cube and open fire. More bark here, right? See me? Let's see if we get away from this cube because I think it's too close. Sorry about the delay. Dealing with the Borg and Pollux took longer than I'd have liked. No, that's okay. As you can see, Starfleet got our request for backup. More ships are on the way. No, time is perfect. We couldn't have defeated that by ourselves. Later in the game we will be able to, not at the moment. Oh, you'd be surprised, yeah. Captain. Mirandas are a lot tougher than you think. Yeah. That ship helped you save a lot of lives here today. Treat her well. And she'll do a lot more for you and your crew. Oh, thanks, Admiral. What, what's your orders? I want you to return to Earth's space dock. Admiral Quinn will want a full report from us. Meet me in his office after you arrive. Okay. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Okay, we'll have something boring happen now. I promise everyone some boredom. I'll see you back at Earth Space Dock, Captain. One more thing. Try not to pick any more fights with the Borg before you get there. I think you've had enough excitement for now. Janeway out. Congratulations, Lieutenant. But regardless, this does fit very much with their Star Trek theme park, uh, getting their biggest name. Um, like I said, as much as I did like having Aaron Eisenberg here, and I do wish they'd kept his stuff, I can see the point of Kate Mulgrew is the bigger draw and again your Star Trek theme park is, someone described it as it's like going to Star Trek 1 and in Star Trek 1 you ideally want someone you know, you'd want Captain Kirk or Picard to come up and say hey yo, we're going to do this mission thing now um, so I can sort of see the word for that but uh, just Aaron Eisenberg put a lot into this Obviously, with him no longer being with us, it was kind of a nice little legacy. Um, you know, I do understand that you can't leave everything untouchable all the time, but you know, same as Leonard Nimoy, you know, there's a little uh, remnant of these actors. And in fact, later on, Rene Aubergine Wa does come in, so we do have these little remnants of these actors in this game, which uh, I think it's sorry to lose, even if it is for a bigger name. Uh, but yeah. But overall, they've not actually changed, like I kind of said repeatedly, they've not changed too much in it. They've added Janeway, um, they've redone a lot more of the cutscenes, uh, they've got a lot better at doing cutscenes. Uh, later on, as you see some later, there's some missions which haven't been updated from years before, and you'll see sort of the more primitive, uh, the cutscenes there were very much using the emotes um, on the characters rather than... Um, Sort of uh, making an actual cutscene where they now animate them properly. Um, and yes, they rejigged the ship interior, so there's been a sort of graphical wash over of it. They've made it fully Borg rather than Borg Klingon, and uh, yeah, they've added Jamie, but that's really about it. So I think if you play the game a lot, by all means watch it for a curiosity, but I wouldn't go buying another character slot to do this unless you're wanting the Delta recruit stuff. Um, and even then, you might want to, you know, you might find that there's uh, you know, you've got a choice of the Federation, Klingon or Romulan intros, and so you can actually decide which one I suppose most you'll have rolled a Klingon at the Klingon event, and 
so did I, and I've been recording it, so hopefully at some point uh, you guys will see the Klingon stuff that I've recorded. I'm going to wait till Doug's stuff over for that. Um, so yeah, just letting you know where we stand at the moment. We are alternating between um, Drakara and Doug. I am going to try, I have been thinking to try and get other games on because it has become the Star Trek Online channel. That said, um, it's been the most success I've had recording videos and getting a good um, cushion of videos to work from. You know, I'm releasing them two weekly, I'm potentially releasing this bonus episode in between as well, so in that way it does allow a lot more stuff to go on the channel, which is good. Um, but my idea is, so this is why you're not going to see the Federation campaign from Bob's point of view, because this is pretty much where it meets up. If you play through the TOS campaign, there's a point, and I'm afraid to give you spoilers, but where you end up in this century, and you'll then jump in on the Federation mission just after this tutorial. So I've already recorded that with Doug, and so you will um, you will be seeing that soon. Um, at least in the next few months. Um, once Doug's story, the story then dovetails, it's around the Romulan missions. In fact, if I was running a Klingon character, which I also am, there's a certain point for that Klingon character. Once their missions start dovetailing with the Federation, that's when you'll leave the Klingon character, and then when the Federation one, when Doug merges with the Romulan one, I'll abandon that. Oh, we're getting some animation. Or is this just tell I think this is just telling us where to go. Yeah it is. Yeah, let's all fly through. Um yeah, so for a few questions. Are there going to be any more intros, uh, any more of these tutorials? Yes there are. At some point, whenever they do another recruitment event, there are still Discovery and Gem Hadar. Now to be honest, the Gem Hadar one didn't really impress me much. And so I may not go through the Gem Hadar when they had an event recently and I didn't bother with it. Or the Union Muscle Guide Path. I will I do want to do a Discovery one again, and I'm still contemplating how to approach the Discovery mission. If I do decide to roll Discovery out, I will probably play through the Discovery missions with them. Um, but I'm not sure and then jump in later. I've not quite worked out the ins and outs of it. Anyway, let's go and talk to oh, first of all, let's talk to Phil. Sorry. Greetings. How can I assist you today? Oh, or in the future? Oh, very good. Uh, I had an encounter. An encounter, you say? Something temporal in nature, I assume. I claim, maybe someone who claimed to be me dressed as an admiral. They said I'd see you if had any doubts. They were asked their claims. That's protocol in these sorts of cases, but rarely do Starfleet officers yeah, we're actually follow through. I can do a quick scan for chroniton radiation. That will tell me what I need to know. I'll do that. Hmm. I am getting some light chroniton radiation from you. You were exposed to someone from the... the future, it seems. But not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. But 18 months they were an admiral? That would be an absurd level of promotion. That's not entirely out of the question. There's been a steady flow of new starship captains and field promotions in the wake of We're all, all the dying so quickly. going on in the galaxy. Someone like yourself could Basically, definitely Starfleet's be an admiral six people in a relatively short amount of time. Well, they gave me this thing. Hmm. This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? I gave it to me. I see. You're not the first to receive one of these from the future. Admiral Archer had a similar device when he was captain of the first Enterprise. These are used to send back information, and in some cases, physical objects from the future. I believe that if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. Oh, that's convenient. Tell you about yourself? Well, where do I start? I'm 157 years old. Oh, you look good That's only it. because I spent 90 years caught in a temporal distortion in the Typhon Expanse, serving as an ensign under Captain Morgan Bateson on the uh, USS Bozeman. Yeah. TNG Much reference of the crew of the drink. Bozeman found it difficult to integrate back into Starfleet. So much had changed. The Temporal Intelligence Agency took in many of my shipmates due to our first-hand knowledge of events that occurred in the past. So, 
That's where I ended up. Oh, I'm not interested in that sort of Your future self has a Tesseract communication receiver. Using this device will open the Delta Recruit UI. And so you can see, I think you've seen that before on Drakara. I thought we might have to open it. Let's talk to Katie. Hi, hey, Katie. And there's Quinn, our normal contact. Oh, there you are. It's good to see you in person. Oh, thank you. I've already filed my report with the Admiral. He's waiting for yours now. Uh, it's like Jamie's but with my signature at the bottom. What's going to happen to the USS Orion her crew? You've showed exemplary performance under duress. You saved a lot of people, including Captain Taggart. You stood tall against the Borg in combat. That's a lot to face as a cadet on a training cruise, but you handled it all very well. I've said as much in my report. Oh, that's good to know. Now, more than ever, Starfleet needs its best and brightest officers out there to defend the Federation and uphold the ideals that make it strong. Officers like you. I can't speak for the Admiral, but I believe you and your crew have a bright future ahead. Thanks, that means a lot. Don't mention it. For now, duty calls. You have a report to give, and I'll be meeting with the Admiralty to discuss plans for the Vega situation. Take care. Thanks, it's been nice to meet you. We have Bob a lot report. to discuss, Cadet. Uh, it's Lieutenant. Yes, I see that here in the report filed by Admiral Janeway. She granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Taggart, his acting first officer, correct? Yeah, that's right. Facing off against a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? <laughs> you had quite a day. Tell me about it. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Plook, 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 plook. Oh, sorry, I just been phrasing it myself, not literally making up my own words. Sorry, old daily college joke. Some time later. <laughs> That's quite the story. Yes, sir, and it's all true. Don't worry. I have statements here from Admiral Janeway, Captain Nog, and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. Oh, I thought I'd be making us All up. three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. Well, it's part of the job. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. It took me like five attempts, sir. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. Okay. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. Uh, I'm sorry for what happened to Captain Taggart. Captain Taggart went through hell, but he's on the road to a full recovery, thanks to you. Don't dwell on the negative. The lives you saved on your ship and at Vega Colony are what matter the most here. Now it's up to you and your crew to continue to honor Starfleet as you carve out your own legacy. Uh, what's happening to Vega? Unfortunately, Vega is lost. Starfleet Command will meet with Federation President Enoch Okeg and the Federation Council to determine our next steps. For now, Starfleet vessels will patrol the outskirts of the Vega system to ensure no Borg escape. Do you have any further questions? Are your orders? You will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. Okay. Ooh, that was... We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador. So I'll, I'll traveling leave that his there because that is where the story ends. So we're going to go out and look at spaceships. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, 
like I say, it wasn't an entirely new experience for me. They've not actually changed as much as I thought, but still, uh, that's almost all the tutorials um, seen. Again, you haven't seen the Klingon one yet, but I have recorded stuff for that. It's just I'm waiting for uh, Doug's stuff to be finished. So um, this will not be the last you see of Bob, uh, but next time he will probably be much further up the command chain. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment, and if you want to see more content like this or other things, please like and subscribe. Um, it's not all hench, uh, um, scanted Ferengi. Just realised the colouring's off on that. I will have to fix that. Um, how embarrassing throughout a whole video. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. If you want to talk to me off there, you can talk to me at Pyman70. And other than that, um, that is us finished. So uh, we'll be back with more Star Trek Online. And I, like I said, I'm going to try and get some other stuff on. Um, but uh, until that time, thanks for watching and bye for now.